morning. Good morning. We are out of the house. Going back to the dermatologist because Bryce's bumps are still there. I want to kick it. made inside art. What'd you make inside art? A lion. Really? Let me see your uh, blisters. Is it bad? No cut. No cup. No cup. No cup for slushies. Okay, okay, starting out with my arm. Ooh, oh, that's a big blister. Jeez, buddy, do they hurt? If, if it touches something, that Yeah. Hurts. And. Is it bad? Oh my goodness. Did you go to the nurse today, or were you good? I went to the nurse. Did you? Were they bothering you that bad? Yeah. She. she didn't do anything to them because she asked if um she asked if um, she could put a band-aid um, on it but then if she put the dermatologist said if um she if um she put something on it like a band-aid or something then then it'll then it'll start um, like blistering yeah even more yeah did she give you some Tylenol no. no. I'm sorry, buddy. Hopefully this will be the last time, okay? What up, what up? Just got off work, headed home. Tonight, Sierra has her volleyball team pictures. I've been hitting a lot of curbs lately. In the last like three days, I think I've curb checked my right turns, I don't know, five times maybe? I just did it again. Not that I was vlogging, I turned the camera off and then a curb check, so you know, you didn't even get to see it. I know I've said this like a hundred times, but I'm so over owning a truck, like driving a truck. Like if I had my way, I'd be driving a little little sports car, a little rally car, something like a, uh, a rally art um, Lancer, right? Or Evo, obviously an Evo would be amazing, but those things are like 75 grand, something like that. There you go. Oh. All right, cooking some dinner. And we are taking a little break from Taco Tuesday. I don't know, I just, no, tacos just didn't sound good, so. But I am loving these little seasoning packets. Because you go to the store and you're like, oh, what's for dinner, I can't decide. You go down the aisle and you look at them and you're like, hmm, that's easy enough. So you buy the little seasoning packet and then you look on the back and it tells you add this, this, and that. So we have some tomatoes. And then we got our chicken cooking in there with the seasoning and then some cream. And throw it all together with some noodles. Add a little salad. And some, where are they at? Garlic knots on the side. Voila! So what did mommy make? I already bought it. Oh. Well, it doesn't look like tacos, does it? What day is it? Tuesday. What day is it? Tuesday. Guys, what day is it? Yeah, it's Tuesday. We're supposed to have tacos or tostadas or something else that starts with a T, not p -p 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 pasta. <laughs> so it's project time and Bryce has to disguise his turkey because Thanksgiving's coming up and of course, uh, the farmer is going to be looking for the turkey to uh, have for turkey dinner, for Thanksgiving dinner. So Bryce's mission, if he chooses to accept it, is to help the turkey find a disguise so the farmer can't find him. Bryce, what are you going to disguise your turkey as? A robot. A robot. So here's the turkey. All right, gobble, gobble. And we're going to try and attempt to make a robot suit out, out of aluminum foil for him. Get a new one. Kind of scare, uh, like rectangle out of that first. Right. Well, we need to cover up these. No, you want those because you still want to kind of be able to tell it's a turkey, right? Yeah, there. like he's hiding. He's like hiding. He's all not like he's totally. Like, you need can tell to make it's a turkey. Holes in this. Mm -hmm. so you will. Can... You will. We need his eyeballs. So mommy's using this picture as reference for for the robot. 
you know, just a little toy, toy, ro toy robot. Bombs. It's coming along pretty nicely for someone who's not very artistic. And this, I actually do get graded. You do get a grade. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mommy was making faces. <laughs> How's it coming along, ladies? It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Look at that. I thought you were going to tell me Robot tomorrow. turkey! This is tomorrow, see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, doing a little impromptu live chat. Sitting here. So we've got uh, Why Me OK, Journeys of Life Vlog, Jenna Miller, I, Caitlin CP 2001, Jay Hanks 858, Jessica Morton, Monster TJ. Just hanging out, hanging out. And here's his final product. That totally looks like a robot. Mom did such an awesome job. Hey, we helped too. Looks like a turkey high with the robot suit on, right? I thought of the Smarties and the mouse. And yeah. the gumdrop mouth. No, you guys did a great job. Hey, let's show my daddy the game. Sit down. Maybe you said we're pretty things so we can play the game. <laughs> yeah. No way, I'm not playing the game. Ah. <laughs> okay, so she does that and him. Mm-hmm. So he holds on to that and then on. Um, one of us who are not holding it goes. That's uh, just silly. So, I don't know, about a month ago or so, there was a uh, Groupon deal for a new Canon camera. Um, it was like 40% off or something like that. I read the statistics on it, it sounded like a great idea. It was super cheap. Uh, looked like a great um, backup camera or, you know, a next camera for us to buy. Um, so I bought it. It was like 125 bucks, right? It's the Canon PowerShot L520. Uh, it has a 12x zoom. I was like, that's sweet. It'd be awesome for sports and other cool things, right? Everything else on it looked uh, about the same. And so uh, we bought it, pulled the trigger and bought it. Well, it's been sitting in the box because I haven't had a need for it. I got two of these. These are the 110 HSs, they've been doing great. But obviously, as you guys have seen, with the sports and stuff, when you zoom in, there's like stuff on the lens, right? It's inside the lens, nothing I can do about it. So I thought I'd bust it open, charge up the battery and test it out. Side by side with our current camera, first thing I notice, the lens is not as wide. This is the new camera here on the left. This is our current camera here on the right. Right? Look where the fan is, the light on the fan and the picture frame on the right. Look here. The fan's at the top of the frame, picture frame's cut off. So right away, first fail. No! Second test is obviously vlogging, right? So I'm gonna hold the two cameras kind of where I, I normally vlog. Uh, you can see what you're, you're seeing already what I'm going to see when I hit record, right? So you can see the differences right there. Can you, can you tell the difference? Is there a big difference? Yeah. Yeah, like that one's more zoomed in, that one's more uh, see, tiny. I was, I was afraid of that. All right, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and uh, hit record. They look different colors too. That one looks Warmer. that one looks darker and that one looks yeah. a little bit lighter. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Well, it looks like I'm gonna to need to uh, do some more testing with the camera. Um, at this point, it it looks amazing to zoom in and I'll be able to sit on the bleachers and get Bryce out in the outfield nice and close if I can keep it steady, obviously. Um, but for everyday vlogging, I don't know. Um, the low light isn't as good as this camera. It's not as wide as this camera. Um, and from what I read on the reviews, the battery life isn't as good as this camera. So, kind of like three strikes right there. As an everyday vlogging camera, I don't know if it's gonna be able to hang with us, right? Now, as a specialized camera for um, out and about and where I'm not doing this, I'm doing more of like shooting, like, you know, it's a good backup, I think, right? Or for all the sports and stuff we do, it's gonna be a good backup. But um, from what I'm reading, the 330, the Canon PowerShot L330 HS is the camera that I need to upgrade to. It's basically this camera with a 10x zoom. It just sucks because I bought that camera on Groupon in August. So I can't return it, I can't take it back. And uh, from what I bought it for, it's a lot cheaper than what retail says, but it's more than what they're selling for eBay. <laughs> So I'm kind of on a catch-22. I can't really do anything with the camera other than keep it or try to sell it to a friend or something. Nothing wrong with the camera. Jack and Chrissy bought the exact same camera. And again, for an everyday camera, shooting video of your kid, playing sports, nothing wrong with it at all. 
But for what we do on a daily basis like this, I'm gonna have to vlog with it and find out. So we'll do some more testing um, tomorrow and we'll see how it goes. For those of you who made the live chat, thank you. Um, for those who didn't, sorry. Like I said, just kind of an impromptu thing. Uh, I can't really schedule a, a live chat right now. We, we're, our schedules are just too um, up and down. Um, but you know, always keep an eye out for um, chats like that where I just go, hey, we're having a live chat, boom. And uh, jump in if you can. If not, there's always next time. Until then, vlog on. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click down here to subscribe for future videos or check out yesterday's vlog, last year's vlog, or other great channels that we have. Of course, all these links are down in the description if you're watching on a mobile or a tablet. We'll see you tomorrow.